We've probably all seen the commercials and I've had the Impossible Burger at regular restaurants, but let's see how Burger King's version does. All right, YouTubers, we're gonna do a taste test. Burger King, the Impossible Whopper, the regular Whopper. Something that's very interesting, I had a coupon for a free Whopper with the purchase of another. I ended up getting two Whoppers. All right, first thing I wanna say is this is gonna break something I haven't had fast food in like five or six years. I've had the Impossible Whopper before at regular restaurants that are selling it, but now we're all seeing the commercials. When I went in there, if you buy the Impossible Whopper meal, it's a dollar more than the regular Whopper meal. So I don't think that's too bad. Second point is, you know, if you look these up online, they're not like, oh my God, super healthy. There's no calories. There's no nothing. There's stuff in it but there's no beef in it. So that's a good thing. So we're gonna open these up. The special thing is it cooks like a burger and it has chew like a burger. And that's what real Burger King looks like. I do a thing called flyovers in my regular video. So we're gonna fly over the regular Whopper. We're gonna fly over the Impossible Whopper. I'm gonna open the top of it. That's what a Whopper looks like. I am the weirdest Italian on the planet. I love tomato sauce. I love everything you do to tomatoes, but I don't like regular plain tomatoes. So that's what the Whopper looks like. You've probably seen a Whopper before. And even though it's veggie, I still don't like those same tomatoes. So that's what an Impossible Burger looks like. Another safety thing or whatever you want to call it. If you're like a true vegan and all that, you're gonna to have to ask them to cook it separately because basically they're gonna cook this on the same grill thing that they cook this on. So if you don't want any tiny little bit of animal protein stuff, you're gonna to have to tell them to cook it separate because it's gonna lay on the same thing they cook the other stuff in. So we'll go back to the GoPro and we're gonna eat it. Now it would be cool if I did a blindfolded taste test and switched these all around and try to confuse myself, but I'm not going to do that. First thing I'm going to eat is I'm going to take a bite of the regular Whopper. There's what the inside of a Whopper looks like after a bite. I do think it was cool I ended up with an extra extra Whopper. Alright, I'm attempting to clean my palate. There we go. We're back to the GoPro. This is the impossible. <laughs> it's really good. Like I said, I've had it at other restaurants and I liked it. I hope one day we don't find out that impossible burgers are Soylent Green. Soylent Green are people. And that's what the inside of a bitten impossible burger looks like from Burger King. Fly over again. I'm going to take another bite of the regular Whopper. Whopper's not a bad burger. I haven't been to Burger King forever. I worked at McDonald's as a kid in high school. And uh, like I said at the start of this video, I don't do fast food anymore. And I think the great option is if you don't want to eat meat, all the time if you want if you're traveling in your RV like I'm in my RV right now and you want something quick to eat there's an option when I was inside Burger King I asked them how they're selling and they are selling a lot of them take another bite of it the thing is I eat a lot of of fake burgers sometimes frozen, sometimes out at restaurants. Beyond Meat is good. These are awesome. You honestly, you honestly do not feel like you're giving up anything. They taste a little different, and, and I'm trying not to be over the top, but I'd say I like the taste of the Impossible a little bit. The Impossible has a smoky taste to it. A little bit better and I have also heard that if you are a vegan and you haven't eaten meat in years 
Some vegans don't like it because it tastes too much like meat. All right, everybody. Honestly, Burger King's going to sell a lot of these. And people are going to start eating more and more of these. Because you feel like you're getting the same thing. You feel like you're getting a real meal. A real burger, not cardboard. This video will probably get viewed by some different people that watch my normal stuff. But um, I got no cause to lie to you. I'm not trying to do clickbait or anything like that. But if you don't think it will taste any good at all, make a bet with yourself and go try it. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, I think it's time for me to go buy stock in Impossible Burger. And Burger King, this is a good move on them. And I think, I think I've heard some other chains are getting into it too. Because I am a carnivore. I have wanted and tried to eat more veggie stuff, but it's hard for me. This makes it easier. From bite to bite, there's not much difference. And I think the taste of the, of the Impossible Burger is better. Another news flash they're saying. Um, Impossible Meat is all, already for sale in California. And it's supposed to be making its way to grocery stores around everywhere. And once that happens, I think more and more people are going to realize this stuff is pretty good. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, don't take my word for anything ever. Go try it yourself. You'll be surprised. And if you can't get yourself to do it, go to Burger King with somebody and take one bite and see what you think. One thing I think is important, you have to be fair. You have to compare the Impossible Whopper to other fast food burgers. This isn't like a fancy restaurant making burgers, although I've had the Impossible Burger at places like that, and to me, it tasted just as good as the normal beef ones. So be fair, compare it to other fast food. I've also had it at White Castles, and just like the Whopper, I think it's at least as good, if not better. All right, now I'm really gonna call that it. Burger King, you did well. Smart move. Teaming up with Impossible Burger. I really should buy stock because it's pretty darn good. And whether or not you're a vegan, the whole environment stuff, cutting back on eating some beef, you go out for a burger someplace, just get one of these. You won't even tell the difference. You really won't. You'll have a great and wonderful day.